Germany, situated in Central Europe, is defined by its diverse geography. Sharing borders with nine neighboring nations, it showcases forests, mountain ranges like the Alps, extensive coastlines along the Baltic and North Seas, and rivers such as the Rhine, Danube, and Elbe crisscross the country, profoundly influencing its history and culture. With a population exceeding 83 million as of 2024, Germany stands as the most populous country in the European Union. What sets it apart is its rich cultural heritage, manifested in historic cities, medieval towns, and meticulously preserved castles that offer captivating glimpses into the nation's past. Impressively, with over 20 million average international overnight stays in 2022, Germany continues to be a thriving tourist destination. Now let's explore some of the best places to visit in Germany. Berlin, the capital city of Germany, has been shaped by a strenuous past. Founded in the 13th century, it experienced division during the Cold War and reunification in 1990. Situated in northeastern Germany, on the banks of the rivers Spree and Havel, Berlin is an extensive metropolis covering almost 900 square kilometers and is home to over 3.5 million people, with residents from over 180 different nations. Among its most iconic sites is the Brandenburg Gate. Constructed between 1788 and 1791 as a sign of peace, this neoclassical structure stands 26 meters high. Crowned by the Quadriga, a chariot drawn by four horses driven by Victoria, the Roman goddess of victory. The gate has witnessed significant historical events, including Napoleon's march into Berlin in 1806 and the euphoric celebrations marking the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989. Not far from the Brandenburg Gate is the Reichstag building, the seat of the German parliament. Originally opened in 1894 to house the Imperial Diet, it suffered extensive damage in a 1933 fire. After World War II, it was partially refurbished, but it wasn't until after German reunification that it underwent a complete reconstruction, led by architect Norman Foster, gaining acclaim for its iconic glass dome. The Berlin Cathedral exemplifies neo-Renaissance architectural grandeur. Originally built from 1894 to 1905, the cathedral was badly damaged in World War II. However, extensive restoration in the late 1900s revived its former magnificence. Moving to a more somber chapter in Berlin's history, the Holocaust Memorial, officially known as the Memorial to the Murdered Jews of Europe, offers a stark and powerful tribute. It consists of 2,711 concrete slabs arranged in a grid pattern on a sloping field, creating an unsettling wave-like effect. This design symbolizes a disordered system that has lost touch with human reason, commemorating the six million Jewish victims of the Holocaust. Reflecting on the city's divided past, the Berlin Wall Memorial stands along 1.4 kilometers of the former border strip. Established in 1998, this memorial includes the last piece of the Berlin Wall with preserved grounds, conveying the evolution of the border fortifications until the end of the 1980s. Checkpoint Charlie, another relic of the Cold War era, served as the main crossing point between East and West Berlin for foreigners and Allied forces. Today, a replica of the original guardhouse stands at the site, while the original is housed in the Allied Museum in Berlin Zellendorf, continuing to remind visitors of the city's once divided state. In contrast to its historical sites, the Berlin Television Tower punctuates the city's skyline as the tallest structure in Germany. Erected between 1965 and 1969 by the German Democratic Republic, this tower, reaching 368 meters, was a symbol of communist power and remains a prominent landmark. Concluding this tour of Berlin, Tiergarten offers a natural escape within the city. Originally a hunting ground for the Elector of Brandenburg in the 16th century, this 210-hectare park has evolved into a serene landscape, adorned with meandering paths, tranquil ponds, and diverse flora and fauna, providing a peaceful haven amidst the crowded city.
Munich, the capital of Bavaria, is renowned for its singular architecture, lively beer gardens, and a rich history that dates back to the 12th century. Situated on the banks of the river Isar, just north of the majestic Bavarian Alps, Munich is Germany's third largest city, boasting a population of approximately 1.5 million people. At the heart of Munich is the Marienplatz, the central square. Named after the Mariensäule, a Marian column at its center, Marienplatz has been the focal point of the city since 1158. The square is anchored by the New Town Hall, an imposing neo-Gothic structure housing the city government, including the city council and the mayor's office. From its origins as a medieval marketplace, Marienplatz has transformed into a modern hub, hosting everything from Christmas markets to city events, making it a popular gathering spot for both locals and visitors. Another jewel of Munich is the Frauenkirche, or Cathedral of Our Dear Lady, a cornerstone of German Catholicism. With its well-known domed towers visible throughout Munich, the church accommodates up to 20,000 people. Built in the 15th century on the site of an earlier church, the Frauenkirche has withstood wars, bombings, and the test of time. The Munich residence, the former royal palace of the Wittelsbach monarchs of Bavaria, now serves as one of the city's prime features. This expansive complex, covering over 130 rooms, hosts various museums and collections. Despite severe damage in World War II, the residence has been meticulously restored to its original splendor. Nymphenburg Palace, with its grand gardens and elaborate interiors, honors Munich's royal heritage. Initially the summer residence of the Bavarian rulers from the House of Wittelsbach, the palace's construction began in 1664 and concluded in 1675, with subsequent expansions over the years. Notably, the palace houses the Gallery of Beauties, showcasing 36 portraits of Munich's most beautiful women from various social classes commissioned by King Ludwig I. The English Garden, extending across 910 acres, ranks as one of the world's largest urban parks, even surpassing New York Central Park in size. The park offers a diverse range of attractions, including a Japanese tea house, a Chinese tower and a boating lake, along with beer gardens and open spaces for sports and leisure. Once a hunting ground for Bavarian electors, the English Garden is now a cherished recreational space. Olympia Park, constructed for the 1972 Summer Olympics, is another highlight of Munich. Its most iconic feature is the Olympia Term, or Olympic Tower, soaring to 291 meters and offering breathtaking city views. The park also houses the Olympic Stadium, renowned for its innovative tensile architecture. Near Munich, the fairy tale like Neuschwanstein Castle sits in the Bavarian Alps. Commissioned by Ludwig II of Bavaria in the 19th century as a private retreat, it opened to the public soon after his death. Despite its medieval appearance, Neuschwanstein was equipped with then modern conveniences like running water, central heating, and a telephone line. Its design inspired Disneyland's Sleeping Beauty Castle and continues to enchant visitors worldwide. Lastly, the Dachau concentration camp memorial site serves as a solemn reminder of Nazi-era atrocities. Established in 1933 as the first Nazi concentration camp in Germany, over 200,000 people were imprisoned here and more than 41,000 lost their lives. After liberation in 1945, Dachau was repurposed as a refugee camp and later as a memorial site. Today, it stands as a place of remembrance, education, and research, marking a poignant contrast to its dark history.
Hamburg, the second largest city in Germany, is located on the Elbe River and is known for its active port, one of the largest in Europe. The city's geography is defined by a network of canals and green spaces, imbuing it with a maritime spirit that is also reflected in its architecture, culture, and cuisine. Home to over 1.8 million people, Hamburg spans 755 square kilometers and experiences an oceanic climate with moderate to heavy rainfall throughout the year. Central to Hamburg's civic pride is the Hamburg Town Hall, or Rathaus. This magnificent neo-Renaissance building, serving as the seat of local government, is renowned for its intricate facade adorned with 20 statues of the emperors of the Holy Roman Empire. Not just a symbol of Hamburg's political life, the town hall is also a demonstration to the city's prosperity and power during the late 19th century. Remarkably, it remains one of the few completely preserved buildings of historicist architecture in Hamburg. To truly experience Hamburg's maritime charm, one must consider cruising through Hamburg's harbor. The port of Hamburg, known as Germany's gateway to the world, boasts a history extending over 830 years. Established in 1189 by Frederick I, Holy Roman Emperor, it is now Europe's third busiest port, handling approximately 9 million containers annually. A harbor cruise offers stunning views of the city's skyline, the historic Speicherstadt, and the modern Hafen city, along with insights into the port's bustling operations. This maritime journey naturally leads us to another modern marvel of Hamburg. The Elbe Philharmonie, a striking example of contemporary architecture, stands as one of the world's largest and acoustically most advanced concert halls. Designed by the renowned Swiss firm Herzog & de Meuron and opened in January 2017, its wave-like rooftop and glassy facade mirror the Elbe River and the sky, symbolizing the city's connection with the sea. More than just a concert hall, the Elbe Philharmonie encompasses a hotel, residential apartments, and the plaza, a public viewing area offering a 360-degree view of Hamburg. From this architectural wonder, we move towards the tranquil heart of the city. The Ulster Lakes, comprising the Binnen Ulster, Inner Ulster, and Ossen Ulster, Outer Ulster, are artificial lakes created in the 13th century to power mills. Now, they serve as a recreational hub for activities like sailing, rowing, and paddleboarding, offering residents and visitors alike a serene escape in the city's core. The tranquility of the Ulster Lakes contrasts with the panoramic views offered by another significant landmark. Rising 280 meters above the city is the Hamburg Television Tower, or Heinrich Hertz term. Named after the German physicist Heinrich Hertz, the tower initially served as a broadcasting site, but has since become a prominent tourist attraction. Although it is currently closed, plans to reopen it are underway, promising visitors a unique dining experience with breathtaking views of Hamburg. Cologne, a 2,000-year-old city spanning the Rhine River in western Germany, stands as the region's cultural hub. This historic city is defined by the Rhine River and its tributaries, shaping both its physical and cultural landscapes. Amidst this natural beauty, Cologne blends its rich history with vibrant urban life, set against the backdrop of high Gothic architecture and a reconstructed old town. Deep in the heart of this historic city is the Cologne Cathedral, a World Heritage Site since 1996, 
and one of Germany's most frequented features. This architectural masterpiece, attracting an average of 20,000 people a day, began its construction in 1248 and was completed in 1880, embodying over six centuries of architectural evolution. As the largest Gothic church in Northern Europe, the cathedral boasts the second tallest spires and a facade adorned with countless statues and intricate details, presenting the largest of any church in the world. Adjacent to it lies the Old Town, a charming area offering a glimpse into Cologne's past. This maze of narrow lanes, old houses, and crowded squares isn't just a place frozen in time. It's a vibrant neighborhood teeming with breweries, pubs, restaurants, and shops. The Old Town serves as a bridge between the city's historical heritage and its modern-day lifestyle. Flowing through the heart of the city, the Rhine River, one of the longest and most important rivers in Europe, has been Cologne's lifeline since its founding. Serving as a major trade route, the river today is a recreational area. Visitors and locals alike enjoy boat tours, cycling, and walking trails along its banks. A stroll along the riverside is essential when visiting Cologne, offering stunning views of the city's skyline dominated by the towering Cologne Cathedral. The riverside, rich in scenic beauty, is also home to sites like the Hohenzollern Bridge, providing a unique vantage point for admiring the cityscape. The Hohenzollern Bridge is more than just a transportation conduit, it's a symbol of the city's resilience. Constructed between 1907 and 1911, and rebuilt after its destruction in 1945, this bridge, now serving rail and pedestrian traffic, is an integral part of Cologne's history. Its length of approximately 410 meters accommodates around 1-200 trains daily, making it one of Germany's busiest railway bridges. The bridge also holds a romantic tradition, the love locks, where couples attach padlocks and throw the key into the Rhine as a symbol of their everlasting love, adding a personal and emotional touch to this historical structure. It is estimated that there are now over 40,000 padlocks on the bridge. The padlocks have added over two tons of weight to the bridge, causing local officials to question how long the practice can be sustained. Concluding our journey through Cologne, we arrive at the Cologne Central Station, a key railway hub situated adjacent to the Cologne Cathedral. This station, a central point for both national and international rail travel, exemplifies strategic location and extensive connectivity. It's not just a transport terminal, but a gateway to the city, seamlessly connecting with Cologne's bus and tram network. Handling a significant volume of passenger traffic daily, its efficient design and layout are pivotal in managing large crowds, especially during peak times and special events, thus encapsulating the dynamic blend of history and modernity that defines Cologne. Frankfurt, Germany, located in the heart of the country on the banks of the River Main, 
boasts an impressive skyline dominated by high-rise buildings and skyscrapers. However, this modern cityscape is just one facet of Frankfurt's charm. With a rich history dating back to Roman times, the city is a tapestry of half-timbered houses, medieval churches, and cobblestone streets, all contributing to its unique character. The city's population stands at around 700,000, but this number swells to over 2.3 million when including the wider metropolitan area. One of Frankfurt's most significant historical landmarks is the Frankfurt Cathedral, officially known as the Cathedral of St. Bartholomew. This stunning Gothic church, dating back to the 14th century, has been a witness to many pivotal events in German history, such as the coronation of emperors during the Holy Roman Empire. Despite suffering damage during World War II, the cathedral has been meticulously restored, continuing its role as a place of worship and a symbol of Frankfurt's resilience. In the heart of the city stands the Romer, a medieval building complex that has served as the city hall for over 600 years. The name Romer, translating to Roman in German, is a nod to Frankfurt's ancient roots as part of the Roman Empire. Its distinctive stepped gable design is a prime example of Gothic architecture prevalent during the Middle Ages, linking the city's present to its storied past. Adding to the city's cultural tapestry, the Opera House, or Alte Oper, originally built in 1880, represents Frankfurt's dedication to the arts. Though almost completely destroyed during World War II, the resilience of Frankfurt's people shone through as they painstakingly restored this cultural icon, reopening it in 1981. Today, the Opera House stands as one of Frankfurt's premier cultural venues, hosting a variety of performances, including opera, ballet, and concerts, and symbolizing the city's unyielding spirit. Connecting the historical and modern aspects of Frankfurt is the Eiserner Steg, or Iron Bridge. Built in 1868, this pedestrian-only bridge spans the River Main, linking the city's old town with the Sachsenhausen district. The bridge has evolved into a symbol of love, and similar to the others, it is adorned with thousands of padlocks left by couples. Shifting to the modern face of Frankfurt, the main tower stands tall at 200 meters. As one of the tallest and most distinctive skyscrapers in the city, completed in 1999, it offers a stark contrast to the historic attractions. The tower's observation deck provides breathtaking views, symbolizing the city's progression into the 21st century and its status as a global financial hub. The river cruise on the main offers a unique perspective on this blend of old and new. As you glide along the 525 kilometer long river, the longest right tributary of the Rhine, you witness the stunning skyline where modern skyscrapers coexist harmoniously with historic buildings. The main river, central to Frankfurt's development, encapsulates the city's ongoing story of growth and transformation. Finally, the Ziel Shopping Street, a hub of commerce since the 14th century, epitomizes modern lifestyle in Frankfurt. With a wide array of shops ranging from high-end designer boutiques to popular high street brands, the Ziel represents the city's dynamic nature and its ability to adapt and thrive through the centuries.
Whether you've enjoyed this video, leave a comment and we will personally reply to it. Also show your support by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. The world is brimming with amazing destinations waiting to be explored, and Germany undoubtedly ranks among them. We look forward to seeing you in our next video.